My name is Ward W. Martin. I was born in Redmond, uh, June 15, 1924. And this is my life. My fa father's name was George Benjamin Martin and he was born in Newcastle, Washington. If I had a hero, I guess it would be my dad. I could talk with dad, uh, even as a, as a little boy. If I was in trouble or whatever, uh, dad could take me aside and, and uh, even though he was strict, uh, he could, uh, we could talk. Dad was enthusiastic about my sports and uh, we were just sort of pals, I guess. <laughs> Baseball, although I did let her in tennis in, uh, in high school. Three months in uh, Lake Washington shipyards, right after I graduated. On Christmas morning, open our gifts, do whatever we're going to do with the gifts, have a big Christmas dinner, and lay around the rest of the day. My ambition was to be a professional baseball player. I watched Stan Musial hit the longest ball that was ever hit in Ebbets Field. I was there. I think the ball is still going. <laughs> I, had my, I had my 12 years of semi-pro with uh, Kirkland, and uh, I almost had a shot with the Rainiers, but I missed a phone call. I was at practice one night at Kirkland, and the fellow who was supposed to get, give me the message came in and looked at me and says, Ward, what are you doing here? Well, I says, I'm at practice. He says, you're supposed to be in the Sixth Stadium. I says, I am? He said he had had a talk with Torchy Torrance, who was then general manager of the Rainiers. And you were supposed to be in there tonight for a tryout with him. Too late. In those days, when you missed, missed something like that, that was it. You didn't get a second shot. How did that make you feel? Mad. But uh, I got over it. It was either the Navy or the Army, and I didn't want any part of that. From Camp Green Bay, I went to Norfolk and was stationed in, on a repair ship in uh, Norfolk for seven months. And then Pross, Darrell's brother-in-law, uh, he happened to get new construction on the USS Frankfurt. It came around uh, to Norfolk, and as luck would have it, I had just gotten a letter from my mother stating that Pross was on the Frankfurt headed for the East Coast. I happened to be on Crow's Watch uh, and I asked the signalman if he'd ever heard of the Frankfurt. He says, yeah, it's coming through the nets right now, as luck would have it. When I got off watch, Pross was down at my bunk waiting for me. There happened to be an opening for a gunner's mate on the hot dog, we called it the hot dog. Uh, I, everybody knew it was coming. Uh, we didn't know at that time what part we were going to play, if at all. Uh, we, just, uh, we just did what we were told. Uh, it was a, an experience that uh, I will never forget, of course. When we were uh, shooting at the e-boats, uh, all of a sudden I noticed uh, hey, they're shooting back at us. And this had never happened. And I got up, I was gun captain, so I could go anywhere I wanted to. Well, I got up behind the, the stack and uh, kind of peered out. Well, now I could see the tracers coming at me. I forgot all about there being bullets in between. And uh, I, I guess that's the, the highlight of any, anybody shooting at me. Uh, when we got, Wati got to Wakayama, they uh, allowed 12 of us to go ashore. And I was one of the 12 fortunate ones. And uh, when we got ashore, why, here was a oh, middle-aged Japanese man uh, wanted to know if we wanted escort around, around the city. So he escorted us all around the city that day. Uh, 
peculiar thing happened while we were there. We were standing on the sidewalk and uh, up the street, here comes a, a bunch of U.S. Army rigs. And we were in Wakayama before the Army of Occupation got there. <laughs> I'll never forget the expression on those soldiers' faces when they saw us standing on the, on the curb there and they went by. They had guns at the ready. Uh, and here we were on Liberty over there. Serving with honor would, would be my high one, you know, getting an honorable discharge. Kathy had uh, five children, uh, three boys and two girls. And uh, I was coaching uh, Babe Ruth baseball at the time. And uh, John happened to be on my team. And I met Kathy through, through John. He got married in the Catholic Church in Kirkland. One boy. What's his name? Mike. I've got, um, I've got seven grandkids. And I have seven or eight. Great grandkids. Yeah, seven, seven greats with the eighth one coming. We were both deeply in love with each other. And I, I guess maybe for both of us, neither one could do any wrong. I think we nurtured each other. Uh, we were very much in love with each other. My dad made sure I was going to join the lodge. When I got home from the, from the service, I was sitting in the front room. He was playing cards and I was sitting in the chair. And uh, all of a sudden he says, Ward, you're going to join the lodge. Oh? So in a couple of weeks, I was a member of the lodge. I've never regretted it. Uh, I did a, a lot of, lot of traveling with my work in the lodge. Um, traveled to uh, uh, New York, Chicago, Washington, D.C. I've been told that I resemble my dad a lot. I have his nose, that I have the Martin nose. If everybody could look back on me and say Ward was a good guy, that, that would make me happy. No, it's just uh, I miss him always, and uh, I love him to be around me. Uh, one day I won't be here, and I hope that they can remember me as a halfway decent guy. <laughs>